I last can call it today, the name on the Taoiseach's office door changes for the third time in four years. But nothing has really changed for workers and families. I mean, how could it? This government was formed to block the change that people voted for in the last general election. Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael and the Green Party clubbed together to ensure that the hopeful votes of so many for something new, for something different, were denied. People wanted a government of change, a government that puts them first, that's on their side. So you join together to preserve the status quo and deliver more of the same, precisely, Deputy Martin, to keep things as they are. And over the last four years, you've delivered more of the same in spades. Simon Harris, the man that Fine Gael now attempts to cast as new, has been there every step of the way. His fingerprints all over the crises and problems that people face every day. And look no further than housing. We remain in the grip of an unprecedented housing crisis, a social emergency that touches every corner of life in Ireland. Last week, the Teachers' Union of Ireland met in Killarney. They polled their members and they found that over half of new teachers are considering leaving Ireland. I was in Burr, County Offaly, last Thursday. I met a woman who told me about her two adult children, one a nurse, one a teacher, one in Australia, one in Dubai. Young people forced out by the lack of affordable housing, prevented from building a good life and a future here at home, and their story is not unique. It's the heartbreaking story that I hear told again and again. Fine Gael's 13 years in power have seen Ireland become no country for young people. Another generation looks to the airports and to the chance of a better life abroad. The housing cri crisis sees a hemorrhage of our young people, an exodus of skill and talent, another brain drain. This crisis now threatens our ability to put teachers in classrooms and nurses in hospital, and it is of your making. Workers and families forced to pay rip-off rent, home ownership a pipe dream for so many, 4,000 children growing up in emergency accommodation, all on your watch. Affordable, secure housing, out of reach for a generation, because this government is out of touch. You now say that you'll fix housing for once and for all. You want people to believe that you will do in 11 months what Fine Gael failed to do in 13 years. Taoiseach, people didn't come down in the last shower. Yeah, yeah. They know this is just more spin and promises from a government that's big on announcements but falls very, very short on delivery. In the century-long history of this state, there have been 15 Tishi. We've had three in the last four years alone just to keep this charade on the road. Even though the wheels have come off the wagon with Fine Gael TDs resigning left, right and centre. But I have to hand it to you. The sound bites and slogans have gone into overdrive in a brazen effort to paint this up as something new. Well, it's not. This government has been in office for four years. Simon Harris has been a senior minister for eight years and Fine Gael have been in power for 13 years. This government is like the last guest at a party who's worn out their welcome but still won't go home. Yeah. You've been in power too long and it's time to go. Because we need a new government with fresh ideas, with the right priorities and a determination to get things done. A government that puts fairness at the centre of its political vision and its policy decisions. Fairness for workers and families. Fairness for our young people. I want our young people to have the chance to build their future here in Ireland. I want our young people who live away to have the chance to come home. And I believe we have an absolute duty and responsibility to create that pathway home. The success of our economy, the cohesion of our society, the progress of our nation depends on young people having the opportunity to pursue happiness and to reach their ambitions here. 
So first and foremost, that means them being able to put a fo an affordable roof over their heads. We need our nurses and doctors here. So government has to stop bragging. You need to get real and you need to resource and deliver the working conditions and the health system that our people deserve. We need our teachers here. So give them full, fair contracts. Value those who shape the future through education. We need a modern childcare system. Professional early years educators and childcare workers must be recognised, respected and paid fairly. That's the bottom line. And government must end the insult of childcare workers signing on for social welfare during the summer. We need more childcare infrastructure, more childcare places and further cuts in childcare fees. And as Count Corla, our communities must be safe. In this, your government has failed comprehensively. The party of law and order, my eye. Can I tell you, Taoiseach, no Dubliner needs you or your government to tell us to take pride in our city. As a matter of fact, you have a cheek to make that statement. I know well the inner city communities that I represent don't feel safe. They're scourged by antisocial behaviour, drug pushing and crime. Abandoned because the guard the resource is just spread too thin and angry because Fine Gael has undermined and underfunded investment in community, in youth work, in community development, all of the initiatives that make a difference. You see, safe communities grow from the grassroots up. You don't get that though. So it's time for a government that will invest in community, in nurturing our amazing young people and in building opportunities for those too often left behind. Investing in community, by the way, is the smartest investment a government will ever make. And those that commit serious crime must face real consequences, the full weight of the law. Let's concord our citizens with disabilities must live their lives as equals with the services, supports and opportunities they're entitled to. You now say that you will ratify the protocol to the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. Well, you've taken your time, so stop the dithering and delay. Get it done. Yeah. Our carers likewise deserve respect. They do incredible work. They save the state billions. They deserve proper respite care, financial support and access to the services that those they care for need. And they need to see real delivery, real improvement on a day-to-day -day basis. Taoiseach, survivors of institutional abuse of the mother and baby homes also deserve recognition. And I want to raise with you again the West Bank Orphanage in Greystones. A grave injustice has been done there. Survivors from the Bethany home in Rathgar. And this has been raised again and again with government after government. I now put it to you that you resolve this injustice because that's what a decent government would do. Taoiseach, I also want to put it to you that you put your money where your mouth is on the issue of Palestine. The Israeli slaughter and war crimes in Gaza continue as we speak. They are broadcast live. And words are not enough. Condemnation is not enough. Action is needed. So recognition of the state of Palestine has to happen now. Why the delay? Why the equivocation? It's long past time that this was done. Yeah. We also need to enact the Occupied Territories Bill. And if you're really, truly repulsed, as you say, by the actions of Netanyahu, you will make all of this and more happen. Taoiseach, you talked about hope. But hope isn't generated by spin. Hope is generated by showing up for people, by following through, by delivering. 13 years of Fine Gael government has damaged the hope of a generation. So as you refuse to let go of power, and limp on without direction. Be very sure that change is coming. Ni real tosnua e sho, toshian shanskel ken arish, a credin di nanini fos i dawakini sfiar, credin shi fos gurfeder le fear ahru a harlu. 
For four years now, you've had it your own way. You circled the wagons to keep change out, but you are running out of road. The day is coming when you will have to face the verdict of the people. You will finally have to face a general election. So for ordinary people, last count, Corla, I want to say this. I know it's hard, but hang on. Don't give up. Hold tightly to your hopes for a better future. Hold tightly to your hopes for yourself, your family, for Ireland. And then, when a general election is called, vote for hope, vote for change, and vote this failed government out.